So trade unions in Sudan are calling for a general strike, hoping to pile pressure onto President Omar al-Bashir. It is the latest development in almost a week of protests, which have spread across the country. Police fired tear gas to disperse hundreds of demonstrators in the capital Khartoum on Sunday night. They gathered in the city center after a football match, chanting demands for additional freedom and calling for the president to go. The protests began over price rises for bread and fuel. Fatih Al-Fatal is a spokesman for the opposition Sudanese Congress Party. He joins us now from Khartoum. We appreciate your time very much. Are you surprised the protests have continued to last and, and in fact, seem to be gaining momentum? No. Uh, well, I, th I think uh, any Sudanese, I mean, uh, doing politics uh, would uh, be quite uh, expectant about the uh, the demonstrations and the protest actions under, undertaken by the people of the Sudan. They have been suffering quite a lot, especially in the past three years, uh, with the different governments installed by uh, the National Congress Party, uh, which aimed at uh, making the poor pay for the expenditures and the, for of the riches and the war uh, in the different parts of the country. So what is happening here is that the resources of the, the meager resources of the majority of the people of the Sudan are being drawn away and spent either on the uh, governmental uh, expenses or in the security and the army in Darfur, Gordofan and uh, the Blue Nile. What, um, what would you like to see happen in the coming days. Are you afraid that this could spiral out of control, or do you think um, this could actually lead to um, to a tipping point in in a good way for the protesters? What do you think? Uh, I, th I think there will be a continuation and uh, intensification of the process actions. Uh, what is going on in the Sudan now should be understood with the context that it is not a capital movement, or it is not a, even a city, a city movement. It is a, a, a national movement covering the whole country, be it the cities or the towns. And in that sense, it is a protest not only for improving life, but it is a protest against the, the system and the regime that oppresses the people and enriches itself. They have been, they, the, 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 the present regime had been in power for the past 30 years. It had never given a penny uh, to expenditure in uh, health, education, or any or the services. It, it has privatized everything in the country. I think they have the best. Uh, they are considered by uh, by the IMF and the World Bank as the best government, as one of the best governments that ob ob obey their uh, orders. Uh, the result of their rule, even today, is that uh, in the past three or four days, we have four people killed in Agbara. This is in the north. Uh, Karima, also in the north, two people. Barbar, one, peop one person. Gadarif in the east, about 13. Uh, there's over 118 uh, injured people. Uh, uh, the, the list of detainees is something like 118. Uh, majority of those detained are students. So let me let me uh, ask you. Let me ask uh, the you this. whole country, I think, is boiling. Okay. And, uh, and when what you we say need that, is a change of government and change of direction. So when you say that, you're you're saying that it's not just about the particular issues that you that you just laid out. You're saying that they will not be happy until the government, the leadership, changes. Are you saying that Omar Bashir needs to go? Yeah. Uh, what we are saying in the opposition, generally, and the opposition here, I'm not talking about one party, but nearly all the parties who are uh, disagreeing with the president regime, and they are, I think, the major parties in the country, the, the, their main aim, they, they are united in one sense. I mean, the, 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 the symptoms of the crisis is reflected in uh, the rising prices in petrol, in bread, in I mean this type of things. But the essence of the crisis is the regime itself, because the regime itself it is not the opposition position, but it is the regime itself which is speaking about corruption, for example. 
and the regime itself is speaking about economic difficulties. Mm -hmm. Before they were speaking about the, 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 the blockade of the Americans, uh, the, this and that, but today they are in very good terms with the U.S. administration and there is no, there is no reason uh, for any kind of economic difficulties except the wrong economic policy followed by the regime. And this is also being uh, implemented together with very heavy-handed okay. hand and uh, very oppressive methods. All right. Uh, Mr. Okay. Fatih Al-Fadl, thank you very much for joining us from Khartoum with the Sudanese um, Congolese Party. Thank you.